What is going on guys, it's MKC Technology here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a $1,200 custom PC build. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel now. Like for more videos, comment down below on what you think about this video, but try not to put any bad comments. With that being said, let's get started. For the processor, I chose an AMD A10 9700 APU. Now, the reason I chose this processor is because it has a uh, integrated graphics card or integrated graphics. It, the integrated graphics is AMD R7 graphics. Uh, it's on the AM4 platform, and I'm also going to be putting it on the X370 chipset. For the graphics card, I chose an Asus Dual RX. 580 8 gigabyte model uh, because basically I wanted something with a lot of connectivity due to the fact that I don't want to have to go out and buy a display port adapter so that's why I went out and got this card I, un I understand that there are a lot of graphics cards out there with uh, lots of connectivity and lots of HDMI uh, lots of HDMI ports but the second reason why I wanted this card is because I want to keep the graphics card that I'm choosing within the AMD family. So everything I'm choosing right here has to be within the AMD family. So from the motherboard to the graphics card to the processor. So that's what, another reason. Now for the motherboard, I went with the Asus Prime X370 Pro. Now the reason I chose this motherboard is because it allows for uh, SLI and it also allows me to have an NVMe SSD and it has a lot more features It also supports overclocking and a whole lot more features. Now when I went with the Asus Prime X370, the regular version, that black and red one, it didn't allow me for, S it didn't allow for SLI. Now I know um, you guys are talking about, talking about oh, what, what are you talking? Why are you talking about SLI for? Now, further down the road, I want to be able to upgrade to a Nvidia graphics card. Uh, that re that reason being said, that's why I wanted to choose this one instead of choosing that regular ASUS Prime X370 motherboard instead of choosing the X ASUS Prime X370 Pro. So that's another reason, and um. And another reason why I chose this motherboard is because the connectivity will the USB ports on the back Usually I like to have eight USB ports on the back of the motherboard But this one has seven plus a USB type C, but uh, I can't complain for the case I went with a deep cool Ducos v2 now. I don't really know much about this case I do know that it has one USB 2 one USB 3 power and uh, power and reset switch as well as headphone in and um, a microphone for the RAM I went with 8 gigabytes of DDR4 2133 from Kingston Technology HyperX Fury this is a 2x4 kit of DDR4 for the SSD I went with a 512 gig uh, Mushkin Triactor SSD now this is going to be the boot drive now, if you guys wanted to go with, let's say, a one terabyte, that's basically up to you. I will leave all the links to all these parts to Amazon in the description box down below. So please go ahead and click on that. So that if you want to buy these parts or or any of these parts that you see here in this list, you can go ahead and buy them. For the hard drive, I chose a Seagate Barracuda two terabyte hard drive. For the CPU cooler, I chose a Thermaltake. Uh, ring uh, I don't know the whole name right now I know it's a Thermotake Ring IO or Riot IO I don't really know the name of it so sorry if I'm butchering the name uh, please correct me in the comment section down below and finally I believe this is the final part on this list I chose a Thermotake Smart Pro 650 watt uh, fully modular uh, 80 plus bronze certified uh, gra not, I almost said graphics card but a uh, power supply now I wanted to choose this graphics card 
sorry for saying graphics card, but uh, I wanted to choose this power supply because it has 650 watts. Now, the reason for 650 watts is because I'm going to be overclocking the RAM, the processor, and the graphics card, and all that takes a lot of power. Even though this whole system is only going to be pushing 320 watts, I will need a lot of extra power due to the fact that if I'm going to be overclocking multiple components in this uh, system, I don't want it to automatically shut down on me because there's an insufficient, an insufficient uh, amount of power from the power supply. That is going to be it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. All the links to my social media is in the description box down below. With that being said, I'm MKC Technology. I'm out. Peace. Brother, let's call it in the crossfire. Let's call it in the crossfire.